how does this clot and in this video I want to tell you about the skin stem cell so this is your skin here is the air skin cells have many 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 epithelial cells lined up and this is the epidermis and here you have the dermis and there's this membrane that separates the epidermis from dermis this membrane is called the basement membrane and the skin stem cells are found right on top of the basement membrane and the skin stem cell will divide and this divided clone is not a stem cell but it's an epithelial cell that's going to keep differentiating and move superficially to replace the dead cells on the surface. And there's a disease called the junctional epidermolysis bullosa, JEB. And people with JEB have a genomic mutation on a laminin gene. And laminin gene make laminin protein. And laminin protein is what anchors the stem cell on the basement membrane. So without the protein, the stem cells can't anchor on the basement membrane. And the epidermis is going to fall off. So people with the JEB don't have healthy skin. And there was a boy with this disease and the boy didn't have skin uh, but had a, some good skins here and there at patches. So what the scientists did was take out the healthy skin and grow this healthy skin on a dish. What they're trying to do is they're trying to grow these stem cells from a healthy region on a dish. And they add to this dish of stem cells a virus carrying healthy laminin gene. And the virus would integrate itself and then the gene to this host stem cells. And the scientists waited, grew this stem cell. And as they grew, they made sure that these stem cells had that healthy laminin gene. And then the scientists planted the stem cell with a healthy limonene gene back to the patient. And eventually these transplanted cells spread all over this boy's body and uh, regenerated healthy skins. So overall, skin stem cells are found on the basement membrane. They constantly divide, make epithelial cells which would differentiate and move superficially to replace dead skin cells. And people with junctional epidermolysis bullosa, JEB, have a problem in anchoring the stem cell to the basement membrane. And one treatment that was successful back in 2006 was to take a healthy patch of skin and add virus that carries the healthy laminin gene. Virus would deliver the gene to the stem cells and you grow the stem cells, make more stem cells, and then put the stem cell back to the patient and you wait. If it's successful, the transplanted skin cell would cover all the body. And this is another example of a few stem cells being able to recreate the entire tissue, in this case, the organ.